The Nigeria-based insurgent group Boko Haram has widened its, its attacks into neighboring countries. One village in northern Cameroon is now taking matters into its own hands by setting up a vigilante group to protect families. DW's Blaise Iyong traveled to Dublé, just a dozen kilometers from the Nigerian border. We are on our way to northern Cameroon, a region under persistent threat from Boko Haram. We've been granted rare access to the area by a vigilante group. It's a routine daytime patrol in the village of Dublé. These vigilante members are checking everyone entering the village, even people they know. They want to prevent Boko Haram militants from attacking their village. These men are taking no chances. The terror group has intensified attacks in Cameroon since the end of last year. They go after farmers and behead them in their own farmlands. People are killed for no reason. They kill grandfathers, grandmothers, just anyone, even young people. They trouble us a lot, and when we meet them, we have no pity for them. Boko Haram has killed thousands of civilians, soldiers and vigilante members. In the nearby town of Mora, a senior government official isn't willing to comment on the vigilante activities. He says the army is determined to push back Boko Haram. Day and night, our security and defense forces are on alert. That is why they are on the field, and they are doing all they can. The results can be seen. Not even one inch of our territory has been occupied by the enemy, and none will be occupied by Boko Haram. But the vigilantes have already caught insurgents and suicide bombers sent by Boko Haram. And this village has a history with Boko Haram. When the Islamists first attacked Cameroon in 2014 and 2015, they killed dozens here. This time, the village vigilantes are determined to stop that from happening again. I do this work for the sake of my village and for my parents, my younger brothers, my children and my mother. I do it for the entire village. Around 120 men take turns working 12-hour shifts. But they are fighting with limited resources and without any pay. There are fewer job opportunities in Cameroon's northern regions. Poverty and lack of work is threatening the stability of the vigilante groups. Some young people say they may not be able to continue protecting their villages. We are the ones protecting our village. We look after the security of our village, yet we don't even have enough to eat. There are no jobs and there is nothing that brings in earnings. Trying to make ends meet while working to secure the village just won't work. For now, the group is unwaving, keeping watch. They have little faith that the army will be able to protect them. So they have to make sure everyone is safe.